I often wonder where there's so little compassion towards people who struggle with morbid obesity, particularly when the morbid obesity originates in a binge eating disorder. People tend to be quite compassionate to other types of eating disorders, but binge eating disorder, no, it doesn't seem to be the case. In a sense, I would link a binge eating disorder to a form of self-harm. But the difference is the self-harm is done with a fork rather than a knife. People tend to comfort eat or binge eat because of psychological reasons. They find comfort in eating. And that comfort is short lived because there's often regrets and self-loathing that follow. But it's an escape in the same way as maybe drugs or alcohol or any other substance that people use to escape from the tough times and the harsh realities of life. I've suffered with a binge eating disorder for many years, really all my adult life. And even now that I've lost a considerable amount of weight on my weight loss journey, I would say that I still suffer from the same psychological condition. And I'm only ever a few steps away from going back to my old traits. There was a time, no, it was about a decade or so ago, when I would routinely stop at McDonald's on the way to work and I would have two McDonald's breakfasts just before I even got to work. And it just became habitual. I do it virtually every day. And it wasn't that I was particularly hungry, it was just to binge eat to get through the day. On the way home from work, I'd often stop at a fill-in station or a convenience store and I'd buy crisps or chips and I'd buy biscuits, chocolates, sweets and I'd sit and I'd gorge upon them in my car before I went home where I'd then have a meal. It was just a real kind of cycle i was trapped in this spiral where i just couldn't escape now that was me at my lowest ebb and to be fair things haven't been quite as bad but it's it's such a trap because when you're overweight you really kind of think what can i do about it and the journey towards getting to a healthy weight seems so far away when you're morbidly obese that you just get sucked into this cycle of eating more because you're getting depressed, you're getting fed up with life and it's the way that you cope. But at the same time, you know you need to get healthier and you just it's a trap. So although over the last two and a half years I've been successful in turning my life around and it really is a life transformation, not just a body transformation, transformation. I've lost so much weight. But even though I've done this, I still know that the demons are still there. The little fat person who lives inside me is always trying to tempt me to eat such rubbish, garbage food. And really, it's so difficult. I've developed levels of resilience I never knew that I had. But even now, it's never easy. And it will never be easy. This is a lifelong condition I've got to live with. And at the moment, I am managing it and I'm managing it successfully. And it is possible to do so, but you've got to be so single-minded and develop a incredibly strong will because it's what you've been used to all your life. So I would say there is hope for people who are morbidly obese. Don't get trapped into that horrible vacuum of seeing no hope. As long as you have hope, you can be successful. So I urge you, if you have a problem, with binge eating, consult a medical professional, maybe get psychological counselling, but do something because unless you lose weight, you are likely to die earlier than you would otherwise do so. Your life expectancy is tremendously reduced. So be like Bye Bye Fat Man and try to turn your life around. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more about weight loss and life transformation and other musings of me, Adrian, or Bye Bye Fat Man. 
And please drop some comments in the comments box and let's take this discussion a little bit further. What do you think about binge eating disorders? Do you feel compassion towards people who are morbidly obese? Or are you one of these people who thinks it's your own fault? Deal with it.